<coughs> hey everyone, me Nathan here, and today I'm going to talk about a site called Fav.com. Now believe it or not, yes, I give myself some that site, and yes, there has been issues where people have scammed buyers. I have personally been scammed maybe once or twice. The main one is where I asked for a logo to be made. Someone from India, believe it or not, that person literally scammed me. And how is that they went on Google Images, they took a logo which is copyrighted and pocket wasn't theirs, and um, all I've done is mention some sort of photo editing software, put a few text lines on, there you are. So I paid my money, I thought, oh well then. Let's have a look where that logo is coming from because I don't believe for one second you've made this. So I went on Google, didn't take long, there it was. And I was just like, you fucking what? So I contacted the site and said, you sold me this um, copyrighted logo. They said to me, no it isn't. I didn't, I, I didn't cut, um, bite off that. So you're telling me that you made this? And I was like, yeah, I made it for you. I was like, no, you look on this link, it goes directly towards this company. You probably think you saw me, a copyrighted logo. So even though Fiverr.com is a scam in some way, like most people look out for, right, which I've seen YouTube, is one, copyrighted grammar. Second, look where they're coming from. Like most people say, look where they're coming from. Is the English all mistakenly spelling? Personally, in my experience, don't buy from foreign countries, especially India or Pakistan. Not being offensive, but this is on my opinion and my experience from Fiverr. I was scammed from an Indian person. Yet, yeah, they sort of spoke good English, but same again, this is just my experience. Yeah, like I said, I sell on Fiverr.com. You will see my face on there. It's not copyrighted one. You know, this face here, it's on that site. The stuff I make on that site are websites, flyers, business cards, the lot. I do this. No one else does it for me. And yet, in a buyer's point, you are entitled to a refund if the site does not provide you with high quality, so to speak. They might say, oh yeah, I can provide you with high quality and have definition of work. No, they can't. You look at a few links that I'm going to put in the description of the blog of the video and it will show you an example as well, an example on what they do, how to get money out of you. So you could have a big business with loads of money for yes, I want a high quality logo or something like that, things that are right. Yeah, sure. Oh this this has um, got a good rate. No, yeah, I'll, I'll choose him or I'll choose her or just whatever, you know. But you need to know the background. Are you buying a professional logo? Are you buying high quality images? No you're not. You're probably like you're buying a fake account. You're buying a fake seller who's literally saying, yes, I can do this for you, but practically, they cannot. Thankfully, if the seller can't provide you with high quality images for whatever reason, you are entitled to for a full refund. The seller can't say, no, sorry, no, sorry, you know, you need your money, you know, blah, 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 no, no, no. If they fail to do what you ask for, by a lot and hundreds of percent, no matter what country, if they're poor, rich, or who cares a fuck, right? You, as the buyer, are in right, having rights to have your money back. So, fuck what the seller says, do what the law would only tell you. You know, it's the seller's responsibility to provide you with the work you're asking for. If they cannot provide you it, don't bother. Give them a negative reading and make sure you make clear to the buyers to warn them to stay away from that seller or this seller or whatever seller it was to say well this person sold me a fake image or this person sold me a copyright image 
Another way to look for that, it's the most important one, is the reviews. Can you say negative reviews? Does the say saying, or oh, I've sent a spin with a five star reply? If so, that is a fake account. Are they getting more five stars than the negatives? Same again. Are they replying to those five star five star reviews? Yes, they will do the same. Outstanding experience, excellent, or whatever they're gonna say. But same again, check what the buyers are saying, as well as the seller, and if you look very closely, if they're matching up or something similar is not right, you do not stay away from that seller. Because by all means, like I said, I've been ripped off by a seller once for copyrighted image. And also, I am going to link as well in the description below in this video. There is a site, I think it's called TV, Thai View or something like that. And if you copy an image from that profile or whatever you want to get from, paste that link into that site and they will show up loads of, loads of images and it will show you exactly that this person is trying to get money of you. Now, as a seller point, I've done a sold anything yet, I'm still waiting, but bear in mind that I'm not going to scam anyone on here. I'm not working, I'm going to do this for upkeep of my family. I am from England in UK, you know, I'm based in Red Car and Cleveland in UK, so you do know I am British, you know, I'm not a foreigner. I talk English, I write in English. Yeah, sure, you might see my spelling grammar in my text in the description below, but I am disabled. That's why you see like that. So, try and understand from that point. Remember, being disabled is not a good thing. I don't enjoy it, but I was born like this. So, please do understand. You know, I've been playing for jobs. Everyone declined me, so the only way I can get a job, which is the main way, is to go on Fiverr. But for a biased kind of view, I'll try and possibly keep away from Fiverr, unless you know for certain that you would want to take the slightest risk of going with it. If you want professional logos, videos, posters, whatever, go with a different company, not Fiverr, or ask a friend, you know. I've got a friend on Steam, you know, he provides me with best quality images though. A lot cheaper than going on, on a fire stop some site. You know. Look at all the sellers. You know. Look at the work, are they providing what they're saying? No they're not. So please take your time to listen carefully what I've said in this video. And if you want to visit the fire site, by all means go ahead. Okay, thank you and goodbye.